G'day. Today we're gonna to take you through installing a first flush carrot. So the first step in this process is choosing where you want to install your first flush carrot. So in this particular case here, we're installing our carrot onto a horizontal run of downpipe, which is going to our tank. Um, so that means our carrot's gonna be installed running down here. But in other cases, you might wanna install it on a vertical section of downpipe like this, in which case you'll need to install a bend and have your carrot running vertically like that. No matter what installation situation you choose, uh, you need to make sure that the carrot is sitting vertically for it to function properly. Okay, so now we've chosen the installation point. We've already installed our first flush plus T here. We also want to make sure that the first flush plus T is installed so that uh, the directional arrow in the horizontal sense is running towards the tank with the flow of water. Um, if you're installing it vertically, however, you want to make sure the arrow is pointing upwards. And this makes sure that the dirty water is captured by the first flush carrot and doesn't skip over the T into your tank. So now that the T is installed, we're going to install the upper collar of the first flush carrot. So you want to use solvent weld glue and install this into the bottom outlet of the T here. One thing to quickly check before you install this is just make sure that the O-ring is seated in the groove underneath here. This helps the carrot to seal and avoid water splashing everywhere. So the collar goes out like that. So next we're going to install the carrot itself. So one thing to note is your carrot comes set up with the filling grommets and the draining grommets in a default configuration. This is filling grommet A and draining grommet 2. So we think this is a really great start point for most people to capture an average amount of water for a wide variety of rainfall intensities. So we would recommend that you go with this default setting at first and if you have a need for higher or lower diversion volumes, you can adjust as required. But just try and install it with the default grommets in first. So we want to make sure that we have our orange carrot inside, our filler frame with our filling grommet, and our diffuser sitting on top like that. And you see a thread on the top of the carrot housing. So just gonna screw that into the coupling that we just glued into the teeth. So now the carrot housing's installed, we need to install a pipe below the carrot to route that dirty water to storm water. So even though the carrot uh, doesn't require a chamber, you still need to route that dirty water to a stormwater outlet. So we just slide the slip coupling on first. This allows you to unscrew the carrot to perform maintenance on it without taking your downpipe off the wall. So one thing you want to note when installing your uh, pipe to stormwater here is with the slip coupling, you want to leave, leave enough space uh, at the top edge of the slip coupling so that you can unscrew your carrot. drop it out for maintenance like that. And that's it, your carrot's installed. So now your carrot's ready to give you hassle-free cleaner water in your tank.